Hello and welcome to our show, Conic You Feel the Love Tonight. I'm your host, Kelsey Sanders, and we have a special guest for you tonight. His name is Mr. Focus. Saw, dude. Tonight we have three special conics for you to choose from. Bachelorette number one, Parabolina. Hey everybody. Bachelorette number two, Calypsia. How are you doing? Bachelorette number three, Circle. Hello. All right, let's get started. Mr. Focus, your first question, please. So, Parabolina, what do you consider your most important feature? Well, Mr. Focus, when I'm on track and heading in the right direction, I am always a positive person. Wow, you're already growing on me. Calm down, you crazy conics. Let's go to the next Bachelorette. What do you consider your biggest fear? Oh, gosh. Pretty much everything. I don't like to branch out of my box. So Circle, what's your favorite hobby? Well, pretty much all I do every day is eat pie in my area. You must have a pretty square personality then. I guess you could say that. Everything about me is squared. I have to be honest with you guys, I'm really only looking for a conic with one real focus in their life. Well, I never tend to focus on just one point in life. I feel like there's always two points of my focus inside of me, talking at my attention. I don't necessarily have a focus in life. All I know is that there's always been a point in the center of my being that determines where I should go next. Expand on that. Well, speaking of expanding, the bigger my radius, the bigger I am. <laughs> what? I don't mean to interrupt but I've always felt that a part of me is missing. There's an empty space where I feel my focus in life should be. But just so you know, I'm the kind of person that keeps moving forward and never looks back on my directrix. You're exactly who I've been looking for this entire time. I could be the focus to your parabola. We complete each other. You just feel right to me, you know, dude? So what does this mean? You do me the honor of letting me be a part of your graph. It'd be the greatest honor imaginable. Get over here, you crazy conic. And they lived happily ever after. Well, will you look at that, folks? The perfect episode of Conic You Feel the Love Tonight. We'll see you back next week for our segment, Are You Growing or Are You Decaying? See ya. Hello, welcome back to another segment we like to call Box of Lies. Upstage are three boxes that neither of us have seen before. Whitney and I are going to each select a box and open on our side of the table. Once you take the object outside the box, you tell your opponent what it is. They could be lying or telling the truth. That is up to them. Whitney, why don't you go first? Hmm. In my box is an infinite arithmetic series. doesn't exist! You are lying! Ugh, you're right, it's a finite arithmetic series. Wait, so they exist? How does that differ from a finite geometric series? Well, Kelsey, the first thing you need to know is that you need to find the rule for the set of numbers. So out of those numbers, you need to find the common ratio instead of the common difference. So you use this equation, where n is the nth term, a1 is the first term, and R is the common ratio. Oh, okay. So where would you put the equation that you just found for sigma notation? So the rule for the sequence is placed in front of the sigma, and on top you place the term the sequence goes to, and below what term it started on. Wow, that was so helpful. Math is loads of fun. Whatever you say, Kelsey. Enough of this. It's time to fix my box. to know what's inside my box. What is in my box? In my box is a word problem that says the probability of Kelsey eating fish is 40%. What is the probability that in one week she will eat fish at least one of the days? 
The answer is 97.2%. Me. <laughs> what is your guess, Whitney? Am I lying or telling the truth? You lie! No, no. See, to solve this, you would do 1 minus 0.6 to the 7th power. To get 0.6, you find the probability that I won't eat fish by subtracting 0.4 from 1. That's you get 0.6. The problem is asking you to find the probability that I will eat fish, so that's why you do 1 minus 0.6. And you raise it to the 7th power because that's how many days there are in a week. Oh, that makes perfect sense. Where did you learn these math skills? From the land of the sea wing. Tell me, who is your master? I must know. Thou who shall not be named. Mrs. Narleski. Don't say her name, it's too powerful! This is but taking the log of a negative on the final! <gasps>